Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students sponsored by the West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Uh, thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. Uh, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Uh, your camera and your microphone are off so the panelists cannot uh, see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. Uh, this presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website. Once again, wvacrao.org. I'd now like to turn it over uh, to our presenters. Thanks, Alan. Uh, my name is Jordan Smith. I am a senior admissions counselor with the WVU Tech on the WVU Beckley campus. Larry, if you want to introduce yourself. So I'm Larry Crook. I'm an admissions counselor and I'm with the West Virginia University of Potomac State College Kaiser campus. Hi, everyone. My name is Danielle Linsenbigler. I am a regional recruiter with the Morgantown campus of West Virginia University. Hello, my name is Rochelle Davis, and I'm a regional recruiter also with West Virginia University at the Morgantown campus. All right, so we're going to talk to you guys today about how a university system can serve you. First of all, what is a university system? Many of you may ask. A university system is a group of affiliated universities and colleges that are governed by one body or state. For an example, WVU has three distinct campuses, one in Morgantown, one in Kaiser, and one in Beckley, but we operate under the overarching WVU system board of governors in the state of West Virginia. So what that means is even though we are separate in terms of geography, we are united in the way that our policies, uh, procedures, and in many cases, curriculum are structured. What are the differences? Well, right out of the gate, enrollment. You know, you guys all know, you know, being from West Virginia, WVU is the flagship institution of the state of West Virginia. So the Morgantown campus does have a very large enrollment, uh, upwards of 25, 26,000, which we'll see shortly. Uh, my campus, a little smaller, of course, Potomac State College over in Kaiser is a little smaller as well. And the location in general, the vibe that you're going to get from the location. Uh, Morgantown's that, that thriving college city uh, Beckley is a little more urban, but, but much, much smaller in a very small uh, capacity. And then Kaiser over in the Eastern Panhandle is a lot smaller as well and more of a rural vibe. Uh, the personality, the traditions and the culture are a little different. One big thing I point out to students all the time, whether it's in West Virginia, whether it's out of state, the athletics uh, environment's a little different. You know, WVU is division one NCAA uh, Big 12 conference, but then you have a school like mine at WVU Tech that we are in the NAIA, uh, which is a little bit below NCAA Division II, but very comparable. And then you have the junior college level over in Kaiser at Potomac State College. So things like that are a little different too in the, the atmosphere. Um, our offerings in uh, academics uh, are a little bit different. We do have some programs that are overarching, such as our nursing program, um, but then we have our own unique programs, and we'll talk about that in a slide here shortly. And residence life is a little different as well. You know, Morgantown is going to have way more housing options for its student population. Kaiser has uh, quite a handful of residence hall options as well, while my campus in Beckley currently only has two residence halls at WVU Tech, and we are in the process of building a third. Uh, it was supposed to go up this year, later, actually, sorry, it's supposed to start this year, be completed later next year, but everything with the pandemic's got that a little backed up, but definitely it's on the horizon that we will have a third residence hall in Beckley ASAP. What is central to the system? Again, I mentioned we do have some programs that are, are overarching. Um, career services, our academic support and tutoring are central to all three campuses. Dual enrollment, AKA high schoolers getting college credit, that's central to all three campuses as well. For those who don't know, high school early enrollment is when high school students have the opportunity at a competitive rate, a much cheaper rate, to actually earn their college credits while in their junior and senior year of high school. Now granted, these are gonna be very generalized general education courses, but you have an opportunity to earn up to eight classes 
and get those under your belt that will apply to your college degree. Um, you can take those anywhere in the WVU system. In many cases, those are very transferable credits to other institutions as well, although we would love to see you keep those in-house. In a lot of cases, that's what ends up happening. Students get the opportunity to take those courses online through our uh, our eCampus system, our Blackboard system, and they get used to how that operates. They already have a student ID, a student email, and they can just transition that into what it's going to be like when they become a full-time student at WVU or WVU Tech or Potomac State College. Um, our competitive tuition scholarships, we do have scholarships of distinction. Think of these as merit-based scholarships. So what that means is we'll take your high school GPA, we'll take your test score, your best test score attempts, we do super score, and we'll offer you the best academic scholarship that we can uh, offer based off of your merit. We are new uh, to the test optional process as well. That is going live as we speak, actually has already gone live. And we will also offer students the opportunity for admission uh, without submitting test scores, but keep in mind that your scholarships of distinction would be much lower because the test score and the GPA combined will give you the best dollar amount possible. Uh, we do have a huge, uh, a huge pride about our university system and our dedication to diversity and inclusiveness. And we do have over 500 clubs and organizations. Uh, last thing I want to point out on this slide as well, it's super easy to move between campuses. Let's say you're a WVU Morgantown student. Uh, maybe you live in Northern West Virginia, North Central West Virginia, and you decide that you wanna finish your degree in Beckley, maybe your junior, senior year. Uh, maybe we have a program that's specific to something you would like to do, but you wanted to start closer to home to save the housing cost. Uh, all you have to do is fill out a change of campus form. It saves you a little bit of time. It's not nearly as extensive as an application would be. Uh, but it is super easy to do. You wouldn't have to send your transcripts to us again. We would have everything on file. We shared the same admission system, uh, but it's just as simple as a, you know, maybe less than 10 minutes and you can fill out that form, get that sent over to the uh, appropriate admissions office and we'll get you in ASAP. Here's a little snapshot of the breakdown for the, uh, the enrollment size, the academic offerings, uh, the cities that we're all located in. I'll start on the left there since that is WVU Tech where I'm located at. Uh, we have an enrollment of a little over 1,700 students right now. We offer over 30 majors with a 12 to one student faculty ratio. Uh, average class size of only 17. I know it sounds like a cliche, I say it all the time, but you are more than just a number at WVU Tech. And for that matter, you are more than just a number at any of the WVU system locations. I mean, even Morgantown with an average class size of 24 is super comparable to a lot of the larger high schools in and out of state. Um, so it's really not intimidating. We, we lack an intimidation factor and that's a really good thing to lack in, in this game. Uh, the last thing you want a student to do is come to a campus, not feel like they're at home, feel intimidated, get scared. You get scared, you, you struggle a little bit academically sometimes, you're afraid to ask questions, and then it ends up hurting you on the back end. But what we like to do is we like to, to, to preach to students on the front end that it's a very inclusive environment on a much smaller scale. It's more like a family. Uh, you see our locations for our cities there at the bottom. Uh, Beckley has a population of about 17,000 as compared to Morgantown with a population of over 30,000. So you get the, the, the comparison now between large and small depending on what campus fits your needs. And then you have Kaiser, it's a little smaller as well. A uh, very beautiful city though, a very beautiful location in West Virginia, right on the border of Maryland, about 20, 20 minutes south of Cumberland, Maryland. Uh, really easy to, to navigate from you know, Pennsylvania, Maryland, West Virginia, and those areas, and super easy access to the interstates if you do live in Southern West Virginia and decide to pursue Potomac State College. It, it might be a few hour drive, but it's super easy travel with the uh, interstate system and the ease of access to the highways. Now we do celebrate the differences in terms of uh, majors and different things like that. Uh, you will see that WVU Tech and Beckley has more of a STEM focus, not saying that Potomac State College or Morgantown don't have anything STEM related, but what that means is we built our, uh, our bread and butter on our engineering and science programs. We're consistently at WVU Tech ranked in the top 100 engineering undergraduate schools in the country. Uh, we do have a unique construction management program that launched in the fall of 2019. This program is kind of a tweener program for those students that want to do architecture but don't necessarily want to pursue something in civil engineering that's going to be a little
little more math intensive, but it is still housed in our engineering college and comes with that accreditation, that brand on that diploma and that transcript. Uh, we have adventure recreation management. Uh, what we've done with that program is we have taken into, uh, into account that we live in one of the biggest recreational hotspots in the United States. Uh, just, you know, just a few minute drive over to uh, Fayetteville, West Virginia, uh, home to the Newver Gorge Bridge. You have the, uh, the hiking trails there, the zip lining, the mountain biking, but you also have very easy access to the New River and the Gali River, which are two of the biggest whitewater destinations in the world. Um, we decided, hey, you know, this is a career for some people. There are people who uh, work in this industry of hospitality and tourism, and launching that adventure recreation management program was a great fit for this region, because not only do you have locals who take a liking for that sort of thing, but from a national scale, you have people who come here to Southern West Virginia year after year, and they are looking to, uh, you know, they're looking at what they see while they're here and they see we have an institution that offers that program combined with things they like to do as a hobby and it makes for a great career. The old, the old saying is, you know, if you find a, uh, a job that you like, you'll never work a day in your life. And, and that's kind of the mantra of the Adventure Recreation Management Program. Hospitality Culinary, that's a uh, brand new one that just launched this fall. Uh, that is a program that is unique in the respect that Typically, the only campus in the WVU system that offers a two-year degree is the Kaiser campus. Potomac State College does have a variety of four-year degrees, but they are more built around associate degrees. Well, it just so happened that WVU Tech and Beckley had the kitchen, they had the facilities that are uh, adequate for hospitality and culinary, and it just so happened that Potomac State was willing to work with us to offer an associate degree on the Beckley campus. So with that program, you'll get cooking right here in Beckley, but you will apply, send your transcripts to the Kaiser campus uh, to actually get admitted, and then you'll double back to me and we'll refer you to a departmental advisor and actually get you registered for your culinary classes. We just launched this in July. Didn't have a lot of time to get off the blocks with the marketing for that program. It was kind of a, uh, it wasn't a last minute deal, but it was something that we, uh, we didn't know if we were going to be able to fit in this year or have to wait until next fall. But we did get about four students enrolled in that program this year. They're off to a really great start. And we've also got a handful of admits already uh, uh, chomping at the bit to, to get out the gates for the spring semester. So we really think that's going to grow into a, uh, a great program with us. Plus, it's one of the faster programs on campus because you're only there for four semesters as opposed to eight. Uh, we do offer peer mentorship, tutoring, and skill building on our campus. Uh, and we do have the Student Success Center, which is responsible for not only offering tutoring services, but they do give you the opportunity to, uh, to be your advisor for up to three semesters. So before we hand you off to a departmental advisor and things get a little intimidating, Intimidating. You do start at WVU Tech by being advised by the Student Success Center before we hand you off to a departmental advisor later down the road. And here's where I'm going to hand it off to, uh, to Danielle and let her talk a little bit about what the Morgantown campus has to offer. Thanks, Jordan. So as far as, you know, some of our offerings that make us unique within the system, we do carry an R1 research designation. So R1 is the highest research classification that any college or university has. We are one of only 130 schools in the entire country that carry that designation. And when you think of the thousands and thousands of higher education choices to be one of only 130, it's definitely a very elite group to be a part of. And we're very excited about that. And that means that undergraduate students can get involved in research very early on in the process and even be published as an undergraduate student. We do offer a medical school with two teaching hospitals. Uh, in addition to medical school, we also have many other professional programs such as law school, dental school, uh, PT, OT, uh, really all of those health sciences professional programs uh, and a great uh, benefit of our law school is that we do offer select three plus three programs that allow you to graduate in six years instead of seven with both your bachelor's and your law degree. We have one of the best forensic science programs in the entire country, have the largest crime scene training complex of any college or university on our campus. We offer degrees from the bachelor's level all the way up through the doctoral degree program. And a uh, claim to fame that we have is, to my knowledge, we are the only school in the country that has an above ground monorail system as its primary form of transportation. Uh, that is called the Personal Rapid Transit System, or PRT for short. 
and that is the way that most students will get around campus. We have a parents club to keep your parents and families engaged throughout the process and we have extension agents that we support in all 55 West Virginia counties. You have probably interacted with an extension agent at one point or another back in your hometown and you may not even have realized it. Hello everyone. Uh, our WVU Kaiser campus, you know, we've been mentioning the differences, you know, here between our three campuses and a couple of ways that we are different is we have two year programs on different aspects. Uh, a lot of our majors that we do have on our campus are a two year transferable majors. Uh, what they do is a lot of students do two years here and then two years on the Morgantown campus. Now we do have students that go to the Beckley campus as well. And we also have students that will go anywhere in the country. Um, so we are pretty widespread. I mean, we do like to keep it in the West Virginia University system, but notice that that is available to any student. Um, we also have, I would say we have two-year technical uh, majors as well that lead to the workforce. So if you're someone who's lives a pretty busy life and you're looking for something that, you know, just within two years, get yourself into the workforce. Uh, criminal justice studies is one of those. Um, it's a very popular major that's led to people working uh, I would say out there in the workforce as well, um, uh, along with business technology. And um, I would say those are just a few programs that are that are career technical majors. Now we do have four year bachelor programs as well. I know that we technically are, we are labeled as a four year university, but mainly we do a lot of work on the two year scale. We have a handful of programs uh, on our um, Kaiser campus, uh, mainly in criminal justice, uh, business management, and then also mentioned before is our, uh, we have a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing, which we'll talk about here a little bit later, which is partnered with our Morgantown campus. Now we are, as um, I know everyone's, you know, mentioning here our differences and, you know, how is our Kaiser campus different than, the, than our other two campuses? We are the most affordable pathway to that WVU degree. Uh, for students who are, who are listening today, uh, we, our tuition alone is only right around about $4,500 for the entire year. So that is something that you, if you're looking to get that degree uh, from the West Virginia University system, we are a great place to start. And then you can start here and finish there. And it will save you a lot of money in that process. So that is something that maybe you want to consider. I know, especially, you know, with everything going on with the COVID, that might be a considerable option to stay in the WVU family the entire way through, but just start with us. Now, along with that, uh, we have our sustainable agriculture program. Uh, so if you're, that is a two and four year program. So kind of piggyback on what I was mentioning earlier. Our uh, uh, sustainable ag program is strictly, it's a hands-on program for a lot of students who are involved in um, our agriculture. Someone who's, you know, an entrepreneur that's looking to, you know, just maybe take over the family business, start your own business involving agriculture, we give you all the necessary tools that are that are needed. Uh, there are a lot of projects that go along with that. One of them is our uh, maple syrup project uh, that students are involved in. Um, and also, um, we students actually have built a high tunnel. That's another project that they're involved in. So there's a lot of different projects on our campus that students are involved in that makes this program strictly hands-on. Now, Jordan touched base on this a little bit, but our um, the new culinary program um, you know, it is, uh, the, all the cooking and everything is done on our Beckley campus, but students do start on, out on our campus. Um, so that's, that's um, something else that we have partnered that when we work together, we do work as a team and we try to do everything that best suits everyone. Now we are a member of the West Virginia Invest Grant Program. Okay, this is something else that as far as uh, for a cost reason, there are various majors that um, we, that you are, in, that we, excuse me, that we are involved in that if you do decide to go into that program, you can apply uh, through the state of West Virginia. And it would essentially what it would do, it would uh, cover your cost of tuition. Uh, so this is something that is new. It's about two years old now. That is a program that we are partnered in and we're the only one of the, the three campuses uh, that does participate in this West Virginia Invest Grant Program. So that's something to consider as well. And Jordan mentioned a little bit uh, on this already, but we do have 10 uh, junior college athletic programs that are very highly um, touted. When I say that, they are championship level athletics. Uh, I can tell you that our baseball team is very top notch. Uh, we have a, 
uh, are always nom are ranked in the top 20 every year in the NJCA Division One. Our men's basketball program uh, two years ago was number one in the country for five weeks. Uh, women's volleyball has been the nationals twice in the last four years. Uh, women's basketball has been very successful as well. Um, but that is a when I we you know we celebrate our differences. We do celebrate our differences in all three campuses, and it's it's very unique that we do work together. But also we do share our own unique differences as well. Now this here, uh, this is our uh, Potomac State College. This is our Kaiser campus, and uh, I appreciate Jordan uh, for this for the shout out of how beautiful our campus is because we do live in a very beautiful area uh, here on our campus. And you can kind of see that we are small. We only have about 1,300 students on our campus, but you can see that everything here is within walking distance. Uh, and you can see right in front of you here to your immediate left, those are our academic buildings. Um, so I always tell students that if you live in one of the residence halls, it's kind of right there in the center, both to the left and to the right, uh, that if you get up five minutes late before class, don't panic. You can get there in about two minutes to your classes. So it is, you know, everything is within walking distance. Uh, freshmen are allowed to have vehicles, but it's something that is not necessarily um, a necessity for you to have a vehicle. You'd only need it to go home or to go off campus. Um, so everything is right there. You see our athletic co complex right there in the center um, to the rear. And then you also have that beautiful view, which I can tell you right now in the fall, uh, leaves are changing. We have an absolutely beautiful campus. Now, I would say um, our Kaiser campus, you know, as I mentioned before, it is the smallest campus of the three, but it is the most affordable of the WVU system. As I mentioned before, you know, we offer over 60 majors and we are a very diverse campus. We always have an above average uh, diversity rate on our campus. It's very easily navigated, as I mentioned before, and our main focus is personalized attention. Both students teachers, coaches, all have that great relationship that it is a sense of family. And I can tell you that I'm a graduate of Potomac State College and it is a place that is always will be near and dear to my heart. And I can tell you that walking through campus, it's very easy to get to know everyone and we get to know you and you will share a lot of great memories on our campus as part of our family. Larry just reminded me, I actually failed to point out when I started the presentation that I myself am actually an alum of WVU Tech as well. Uh, so it's worth pointing out, I guess when you start a presentation about your school, you should probably start by saying you are an alum. Um, but anyway, this is an aerial shot of WVU Tech in Beckley. Uh, I always tell people that if you had a really, really good arm, if you had like a Pat Mahomes type of uh, throwing arm, you could probably get a ball from one end of campus to the other. Uh, if you can't throw it, you can definitely hit a baseball that far, I promise you. And the good thing, much like Kaiser, is if you're running into students on the first day of class, uh, if you're walking to your office or something and a kid's holding their schedule and they're trying to read the letters on there and figure out what building that is, uh, there's not really any reason to panic. You can usually spin them around in a semicircle and be like, well, it's just right over there. Uh, really hard to get lost. It all goes back to the, uh, the lack of the intimidation factor that I mentioned earlier. Uh, very down home, very family oriented. Uh, and many of you who may not have been in the Beckley area at any point in your life or haven't been there recently, uh, you're probably looking at the picture and going, well, hey, you know, I see a couple buildings. I see a lot of trees and foliage in the back there. I thought it said the population of the town was like 17,000. Well, if I was the one operating the drone, if you could just spin it around, that's primarily where the city's located at. A little to your right, a little behind you there. Um, but everything tech related is right here on this street. This is South Kanawha Street. Uh, the building on the bottom right hand of the picture there with the two little blue tents, that's Carter Hall. That's our most picturesque building on campus and a lot of our publications, our emails. If you've gotten any kind of communication from tech, you've probably seen a photo of that building at some time or another. Uh, the admissions and uh, recruitment team were located right across the street there in that olive colored house. Uh, and then on up through there, that's, uh, that, that's pretty much all our campus is, is on that one street there. We do have one other building, two other buildings that are about a block the other direction over on Neville Street. Uh, one is our business and finance building, uh, and the other is our interdisciplinary studies building. Now, the IDS building has just gone live this year. That is where our RBA program, our Regents Bachelor of Arts for non-traditional students, uh, won't really apply to first-time freshmen uh, in any capacity, but that's where they're located at. That's also where our early enrollment division for high school courses is offered out of. That's where their offices are. Um, 
and the business finance building. I mentioned the culinary program earlier. It's kind of strange to say this, but if you're going to pursue the culinary program, you're actually going to have some classes in the kitchen in the business and finance building, because that's actually the building where the kitchen's housed at. Um, but that is the only real course that's ever going to require that you have to go off uh, this main street right here and go a few blocks. And it's only about a seven minute walk. Um, you will see in the top, I don't want to say the top, but the, the furthest top uh, portion of the picture there, the last real tech building, you see the, the stone building that's uh, dark and, and uh, tan colored there. That is University Hall. Um, that's where our upperclassmen live at if you're a junior or senior. And if you go a little to the left of the picture where you see all those cars parked in that parking lot, um, that is Hogan Hall. They're parked behind and that's where our underclassmen live at. So if you're a freshman or a sophomore, that's where your residence hall is going to be. It is worth pointing out that freshmen through seniors all can park and bring their car to the tech campus in Beckley um, for a very convenient fee, much like the faculty and staff pay. Uh, and parking is really never an issue on the Beckley campus. Uh, so there you have it. That is WVU Tech in all of its aerial glory. And here you have an aerial shot of the downtown campus of or the downtown area of the Morgantown campus. So we do have two distinct areas of campus. We have the downtown area and we have our Evansdale area. They are separated by about a mile and a half. So when you go between the two, that's when you would utilize either the monorail system that I mentioned or the different bus routes that run throughout Morgantown. As far as walking campus, if you're on the downtown area, 10, 15 minutes max, you can be from one building to another, no problem. Same thing if you are working, uh, walking around the Evansdale area. So it's really, again, just when you're going between the two that you would use the transportation systems. Great college town, atmosphere, tons of school spirit, just great overall vibe. Uh, I miss as a student just walking in between classes, even though it is a large university, you start to see familiar faces, you know, just as you're changing classes and taking in the scenery. So amazing college town experience should you decide to go to the Morgantown campus. So we do have uh, a few unique programs and so what that means is each campus offers programs that you may not find readily available at a lot of other colleges or universities that you're looking at. A lot of these we've already touched upon. So for example at the Beckley campus the aviation management program, the hospitality culinary, adventure recreation management, and construction management are programs that you aren't going to find at a lot of other institutions or at the other two campuses. Morgantown, we have a lot of really niche programs. So what's nice is pro programs that even just a few years ago you would have had to wait Till the graduate level to start specializing in, you can actually do that now at the undergraduate level in fields such as immunology and medical microbiology, neuroscience, biochemistry, we have an art technical history program, interactive design for media, sport and adventure media, so a lot of really niche programs in addition to some of the more general programs as well. At the Kaiser campus, the sustainable agriculture entrepreneurship that Larry mentioned, participating in the Invest, Invest Grant, uh, Equine Sage Focus, a lot of multidisciplinary programs, and the opportunity to do a two plus two program seamlessly to the Morgantown campus. Now, in addition to those unique programs, we do have some that are going to be available at all three campuses. If you are interested in any one of these, you can then start to look at location, size, amenities, price point, and determine any of the three campuses that are going to be the right fit for you. Some of these are nursing program. We have the same nursing BSN degree at all three campuses. All three campuses offer engineering or the first two years of engineering, agricultural extension programs, business, criminal justice or criminology, physical education, uh, all three program, all three campuses are strong in agriculture. So again, this is just something to keep in mind as you're looking through the campuses to see which one may be the right fit for you. The other item that we encourage you to look at when you are finding the right fit 
you know, academic fit, social fit, but then we also want to make sure that it's a good financial fit for you. And so you want to make sure that the campus you're selecting falls within a price point that is feasible for you and your family. Prices do vary based on tuition and fees, room and board at the three campuses, and you can see the breakdown there. And then you also have the Kaiser campus, which offers the invest grant that we have mentioned. So a couple notes, if you plan to apply to WVU, what you should know. So you can apply to multiple campuses, but you can only have an active decision at one. So essentially what would happen is if you apply to both the Morgantown and the Kaiser campus, you would receive a decision from one. Let's say you receive a decision from the Morgantown campus because your application file is complete there first. You uh, can be admitted, you receive your financial aid package, and you decide that the Kaiser campus may be a better financial fit for you. You would just contact your Morgantown admissions counselor, let us know that you'd like to deactivate your Morgantown application and reactivate the Kaiser campus application. At that point, you would follow the similar procedure of receiving a decision, getting your financial aid package from Kaiser. So it's very easy to go back and forth between the different applications depending on which one you want to be active at that point in time. We mentioned that the cost does vary, so please keep that in mind when you're deciding which campus is the best fit for you. Although there are merit scholarships available at all three and they can transfer to each campus. So if you would start out at Kaiser and then come to Morgantown, that scholarship would come with you. And all three campuses in the WVU system are offering test optional admission for the fall 2021 term. So if you've had not had a chance to take the SAT or ACT exam due to COVID-19, we understand it's been a very different year than expected, but we want to make sure that you're still able to apply and receive a decision and then hopefully be able to take either one of those exams at some point later on. Okay, some of you might be, uh, you know, thinking, you know, what are some tips, what are some helpful things that can help us, you know, throughout this, through the panel and through the WVU system. I'm here to help you. Uh, the WVU system does offer rolling admission, so there is no deadline to apply. And uh, we do encourage you to apply early in your senior year. And the reason we do that is it makes life a lot easier for you. Uh, if everything's done, then once you get, we get your transcripts, we get all that situated, you get to admitted. We can walk you through that process. We have a great staff of not only myself, uh, Danielle, Jordan, Rochelle, we're all here to help you. And I will tell you that when you reach out to us, we'll be happy to help you through those processes. Now, uh, both the, the Kaiser and Beckley campuses, we do not have an application fee. Um, so it is free to apply and we do offer the online application. Now the Morgantown do, uh, campus does require a application fee. Uh, but honors national and university issued fee waivers are available as well. Now, some of you might be sweating out, going, you know, sweating, going, oh, do I have to do an essay? Do I have to get letters of recommendation? And they are not required on our campus. So that's something else you can, uh, you know, breathe easy on that is that we make it very simple as possible as well. Now, uh, we, as, as Jordan mentioned before, is we are a test optional uh, application right now. That's what we're offering um, due to everything that's going on, you know, with the COVID. But there are some majors that do have specific requirements, especially in STEM and both the health and science fields that are um, available to our students uh, that do require um, certain uh, test scores that will be needed. Now our scholarships are automatically awarded. So as long as we have all the information that we need, uh, we have your uh, transcript, we have your test scores, uh, as well, uh, then you will be uh, eligible for those scholarships. Now, being part of the WVU system, you know, we are, we do have a lot of similarities. And one of the similarities that we do have is that we do have, share the same FAFSA code. Um, so by saying that, I mean, you, you can see it listed there on our screen uh, that we do share the same code. So depending upon, you know, where you would, which one of the um, system that you would want to apply to and get uh, admitted, uh, that you can see, you know, what your academic or financial aid package would be, excuse me. 
Um, now, one of the things that is a little bit different is that we do not share the same ACT or SAT codes. So that is something that we are different in that aspect of everything. Now, some of you might, you know, listening to the panel today, you might say, hey, I want to take a look at one of your campuses, two of your campuses, or maybe all three of the campuses. And we do have different things that are available uh, on virtual visits and ways of uh, communication right now. Uh, we're trying to make things as very simple, very easy as we can for you as possible. I know this is a difficult time, but our Kaiser campus, I mean, we offer the tour guide live. We have individual visits that are done uh, through uh, Zoom that you can, uh, we can give you a tour of campus. Uh, we do have Discover Days, which is our version of Open House, and you can schedule a phone call or a Zoom session with any of our admission staff, myself included. Uh, our Morgantown campus, they offer the tour guide live as well. Also the Discover Days, which is our, in the WVU system, our way of um, doing the open house. They have Ask Us, Any, uh, Ask Us Anything events, which are very popular. I know a lot of students, there's a lot of different departments that are available at these events that students might want to ask questions for it, and we make them available. And they have uh, phone appointments as well. And our Beckley campus offers many different uh, virtual visit options that can be found at, uh, you'll, you'll be able to check them out on their webpage as well. Now, if you do have any questions, okay, and I mentioned this before, but uh, we do have a great team. And when I say team, I mean everyone in the West Virginia University system, whether it be Kaiser, whether it be Beckley, whether it be Morgantown campus, uh, that we are here, we are available to help you, and we are happy to assist you in any way that we can possible. So please, if you have any questions at all, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to any of us. And we appreciate uh, you all listening today and we hope to hear from you all. So if anybody does have questions, feel free to type those and we'll be glad to have the appropriate admissions representative answer your, your question or concern. I know we covered a lot of material this evening, but um, maybe there's something that we didn't address you'd like to know about, a particular program of study that we might not have mentioned this evening. And again, I think it was mentioned earlier, there's a Q&A icon at the bottom of your screen if you want to click on that. Uh, maybe you can just simply type in the major that you're considering at this time. or maybe you're thinking about multiple majors at this point, feel free to let us know anything that might be, might be on your radar. No questions yet. We have probably about uh, five more minutes, so we do have time if anybody does have questions. No question is uh, a bad question or a silly question. Oh yeah, trust me, we've probably heard everything by this point. If everybody attending, uh, would do so if you could just click on the Q&A and just type in your, the major you're thinking about. And or the campus that you're thinking about. That's true, about. good yeah. point. Okay, got one interest in Morgantown here. And any majors in mind? Nursing, great. Morgantown and Beckley, I see there. Mm -hmm. uh, the good thing, if you guys, I'll just go ahead and take that one if we have a second. 
Um, the good thing about the nursing program is, like we said, it is overarching. You can pursue that on any of the campuses. Uh, I will point out this, though. It is not impossible to transfer as a nursing student, but the further you progress into that program, that is one that is very cohort-based, meaning that a lot of times when you start uh, into that program, you have the same courses and the same structure uh, from point A to point B all the way through. Uh, so I would definitely, uh, either campus you pursue is a great option. Uh, but whichever you decide to lean towards, uh, definitely explore uh, whether you think you're going to see yourself there for four years or not, because that can be a program that can be a little more complex when it comes to transferring campuses. Yep. And another note for nursing, uh, if you would decide Morgantown is the right fit for you, we do have a priority deadline of December 1st for our direct admit nursing program. So if you haven't already submitted an application, you will want to do so probably sooner rather than later. And we are giving students the opportunity to apply into nursing test optional. However, it works a little bit different than some of our other programs. So if you apply test optional, Regardless of your GPA, if you're admissible to the university, you will be admitted into the health and well-being program. And then prior to December 1st for priority consideration, you will want to submit scores from the TEAS test. And if you have any questions about that, you can reach out. But those TEAS test exam scores in collaboration with your GPA will determine your eligibility for the pre-nursing program as well as the direct admit program. I don't see any other questions at this time. So, Alan, if you want to take back over. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, it was a great presentation, very informative. Appreciate your time. I'm going to uh, close out here uh, with a final slide. If you'll give me just one second here. So uh, just, uh, of course, uh, thank you students as well uh, for joining in, uh, uh, joining in with us again. I'm sorry. Uh, when you close this window, uh, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. Uh, and we'd appreciate any feedback uh, that you can provide. Also, this was just one of many sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions at WVACRAO.org. And uh, in about a week, you'll be able to find this particular session as well, this recording, uh, as well as other session recordings at WVACRAO.org. Uh, so thank you all. Stay safe and self, safe and healthy out there, and I look forward to seeing all of you again sometime soon.